In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the cut and text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we're first going to begin by creating a brand new solid. So we'll go up into layer, new solid. And in this solid settings window, you want to go ahead and rename this to whatever you like. I'm going to leave it as solid for now. And then you just want to go ahead and change the color to a color of your choice. So I'm going to select a pink for this. We'll go for pink, press OK and OK. Now, from here, you just want to turn on the proportional grid. And we're just going to pull this down so that it fits roughly in these grids here. So about there, that's perfect. We'll turn the proportional grid off and that looks really awesome. So from here, you want to select that solid. We'll go up into the rectangle tool and you want to draw a mask around that entire rectangle. Now we'll go roughly one second to the right in our composition, go into mask one, select mask path. We'll move to the very beginning and then we'll pull the two points on the right of the mask. So we'll pull top right and bottom right over to the left. So if we play this back, you'll notice that this animates on. And then you just want to go ahead and go roughly a few seconds or a few frames after that second keyframe. And we'll pull the top left and the bottom left over to the right. So we'll take these two points and we'll move them all the way over to the right. So if we play this back, We've got this line coming in and then going straight back out again. Of course, at the moment, it's not very fast. So we're just going to decrease the gap between these keyframes to make that a little bit quicker. Still a bit too slow, we can decrease again. So this takes roughly one second to completely wipe off. And there you go, that looks really awesome. So from here, we now need to go ahead and we need to add a text layer. So you want to go to the second point of that animation and this is so that you understand how wide your text needs to be. So we'll go up to the T icon and you want to select just above that pink bar and you want to go ahead and type out anything that you'll want to add into your video. So I'm going to put sliding video text transition. Now from here, you just want to move that roughly into the middle. We'll go into our character window and you just want to go ahead and change the color. You can change the font, the weight, the size, the kerning. You basically just want to adjust your text here, but you want this to be roughly the same width of this pink box here. Now we're just gonna sit that on top of that pink box. We'll load up the proportional grid and we'll make sure this is in the center. There we go. So now that we've created our text and it's roughly the same width of our box, you'll now see that the text is just on screen and the pink box transitions in and out just underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to that second keyframe on the purple box. We're just going to select the text icon. So we'll select the text layer, hold command, shift and D. And then we're just going to delete the first part of that text layer. Now from here, we just want to slide the text underneath that solid layer. And if we play that back, you'll notice the text has now appeared. So from here, we now need to go ahead and we need to create the end point, the transition out for this effect. So we're just going to scroll to the end of the solid layer. We'll go to the right a few frames. We'll go Command Shift D and we'll delete the last part of that solid layer. Then we'll copy this single layer. So we'll go Command C, Command V. We'll move this mini solid to the right. We'll move that all the way to the end. And when that solid transitions in and it's completely covering the text, we'll highlight the text, go Command Shift D, delete the last part of that text, and that will now transition off. So it transitions in, holds for a few seconds, and then transitions back out again. Now that looks really awesome. And of course, if you wanted to do this for multiple text layers, so you wanted multiple lines, then all you have to do is just repeat the same process, but just delay this a little bit. So we're going to move this solid over to the left. So we move that over to the left a touch. And then of course, when that comes on screen, we'll just delete the last part of that text. So this is going to be line one. 
Now from here, we're just going to copy that solid layer. So select the first solid layer, go Command C on your keyboard. We'll select everything on the timeline, right click and select Pre-Compose. Rename this pre-composition line one, and that will add that into its own pre-comp. So all we have to do from here is just pull the scale of this down if we want, and we can move the position up. Then we can just go ahead and we can recreate that same process. So if we go Command V, we've got our text layer coming in and out. We'll turn off the original composition for now. So all you have to do now is keep redoing that process. Every time it slides in, you add the text and then it's going to slide out. You cut the text and then you just make that a pre-composition. So I'm just going to pretend I've already done that for two lines, but I'm just going to copy the first line. So we've got these two lines of text. Let's say we wanted these to come on slightly one after another. All you have to do is just pull this over to the right of touch. You pull the composition over to the right and that's going to come on slightly delayed and that is a really awesome and really easy way of recreating this effect. So there you go. That is the sliding text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. It's simple, quick, and easy to do. Thank you for watching.